you had done the prep work for when all of the contractors were coming yep. in and the queue people actually said is it done <laughs> they did aqua box all showing and everything they're like not sure if that's the look we were going for i'm like no 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 so this was a cac only build correct you didn't want people that were not experienced working on right this right we were going to be doing teaching but we wanted to talk a little bit more about some of the advanced techniques utilizing some of the ro large rocks putting all these different things together in different uh, configurations it is a beautiful day in St. Charles, Illinois, the water garden capital of the world. I'm Greg with Suck the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg with Suck the Pond Guy. This is Ed Ballou, our Chief Sustainability Officer and Director of Field Research. And this is a project that you finished up three weeks ago as part of Pondemonium, which is our annual training event. And this is quite a spectacular feature. Oh, it's awesome. It is an over-the-top custom-made fountain system that we installed. We got all that prep work done before uh, a lot of our contractors came in, so we got the infrastructure set up and then when they came in we focused on all the details and talking to them and teaching how they could actually create this anywhere in the world 150 people built this water feature so you're going to get to see what 150 people working together certified aquascape conjurers can accomplish let's check this out I see the first piece of greenery. <laughs> <laughs> we got some trees in, we got some shrubs, and I also see a fire pit over here. Oh, and yeah. I'm hoping another one's in over on that side. So these are all the things that have kind of been layered in. Uh -huh. It was all part of the original design, but all that stuff couldn't come in while we were here working. I love how they use this stone here yep. at the end. They cut it all in there nice ah. and tight. That looks great. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow, we still got to get a fake rock over in here, some more planting. They're filling in soil over on this side. Yeah, this is getting close. This is what certified aquascape conjurers that know how to do ponds done right, <laughs> customers serve right. This is what they create. So, Ed, how did this whole project evolve? So, it's as part of our pondemonium training. So, what this project entails is over the many years, over 20 years of pondemonium, we've always focused on ponds, poundless systems, waterfalls, wetland filters and everything. So we wanted to do something that was unique. We had this opportunity here at the Q Center. We've been walking by this for years while we've been doing training here. And it was basically just a mound of greenery. It was yes. just kind of shrub. And we're like, wow, you know what? This could really be updated. It looked very dated. And when we started talking to the people here at the Q Center, they said they want to start getting into more weddings. They want to utilize this courtyard better. Yeah. What a unique feature because no no two sides are alike. No. So everywhere you look, it's going to be different <laughs> exactly. because you're using natural rocks and just how you cut it with the stack slate urns, with the architectural slate walls. We've done stuff like this, but we've never done something like this. <laughs> it's incorporating all of the things, which is what makes this fun. We could focus on the art because we know we have the infrastructure covered. Underneath all of that, we have 80 aqua blocks. We have 2,500 gallons of water stored there. We have our pump vaults. We have our remote control pump. Aqua surge, four to 8,000 pumps. So we can control all of that water. So, so we don't have to worry about that. And there's that other oh, fire pit. Oh man, that is awesome. <laughs> okay, can you just picture this <laughs> right here? So this, this is, is what cool. living the aquascape this lifestyle is, cool. is all about. Because we have the fountainscape, there's a reason for people to be out here now. Exactly. Now they put the fire pit. Now they put the chairs around it. You hear that sound?
So terrain is going to come up a little bit, a little bit of a steep wall here. This is all going to be loaded up with annual plants yeah, all through plants. this entire area. And then that'll kind of highlight that. It'll kind of disguise it a little bit from here. But look how tall that thing is. Ah, oh my gosh, from down here, it's over 13 feet. What would the cost be? Because this is very interesting to me because I think you get a lot for your money with aquifer. Absolutely. That water feature, not including the other stonework and stuff around, is $110,000. Okay, so $110,000 might seem like a lot of money, but this is a Ferrari of water features. Yeah. And when you talk about commercial work, there's a commercial project in downtown St. Charles, which is you know, frustrating for me because this is the water garden capital of the world. It's a $500,000 water feature, and I guarantee you that it looks like every other water feature out it there. It does not have the impact of that. We can't draw this. People always want drawings, but how do you draw something like this? Because you don't know what the stones are gonna be exactly yep. like. You don't know, you have a concept. Yep. And we can talk concepts, mm -hmm. but we can't draw this. And then we actually helped design this entire area around here. Correct. Because they didn't know, you right. know, and we wanted to be able to make sure that we could showcase our work and accomplish what they wanted to accomplish, which was a draw, yeah. something to actually make this courtyard pop. And that's what it's doing. I mean, you go inside there, over to the cafe, people are sitting out there, they're having coffee, they're having a beer, but the sound of that water just pulls everybody out. Once this is all finished here, everybody's gonna hang out here. They have Wi-Fi hotspots, they have speakers that are going in, wow. they have the fire pits, they have all these different pieces layered in place. But the main focus is that. So this was a CAC only build. Correct. You didn't want people that were not experienced working on right, this project. Right. We were going to be doing teaching, but we wanted to talk a little bit more about some of the advanced techniques. Utilizing some of the ro large rocks, putting all these different things together in different uh, configurations. What were the materials used to build this? So we have our large and medium stack slate urns. We have the patio bowls, and then we have the architectural slate walls. We have aqua blocks, we have liner, we have pump vault, four to 8,000 aqua surge pumps, yep. and then a bunch of light. We have 2,500 gallons under there. Now this is gonna evaporate quite a bit just because of all that splash, but we do have a water fill valve on yep. here as well, so it's gonna constantly be topping it off. We also have an ion gen system because we don't want any algal growth or anything like that on this because that would take away from it. But what we do want is we want all of the natural mosses and stuff to take off, and that will, that yep. will come over time because this natural weathered limestone has that moss on there. So that stuff is just gonna start to creep and grow all over this stuff. My favorite part is you can't even barely see it right now, is the underwater lights. The lights at night, this yeah. thing is lit up like a Christmas tree. It looks otherworldly at night. I mean, when you come out here, the first time I saw it, I remember coming out from the tower over there and we just finished up dinner. We were coming out and I just stopped. Before I even walked out the door, I'm like, oh my God, this is unbelievable. So what's your favorite part? Mine's the lights, what about oh, yours? Oh gosh, actually coming down from the main walkway over there and just the overall setting. So when you look at the big picture, you have this corridor, you have this courtyard, you have that beautiful tower over in the back, which is making a prominent standpoint. Yep. And then all of a sudden you see this water flowing out. You're, once these trees start to grow and you have the fire pits and everything. Well, once again, over the top design, absolutely <laughs> fantastic. The man with the plan, Ed Blue. I just get to go visit the giant water features that this company begins to create. 25 years we've been working together. It's never a boring day at Aquascape, which is exactly why I love my job. Hey, if you wanna share this thing so more people can see what live in the Aquascape lifestyle, even in a commercial situation is like this, like, comment, and share this so more people can see what live in the Aquascape lifestyle is all about. <laughs>